Hi, I'm Chef Jeff, and welcome to Flip My Food. I'm headed south of the border to play with the amazing flavors of Mexico. Let's get in the kitchen, and let's get cooking. On today's episode of Flip My Food, Chef Jeff explores some delectable and authentic flavors of Mexico with his friends at Aranya Taqueria and Cantina in the heart of New Orleans. I'm going to let Chef Richard tell you all about his great restaurant. How you doing, Chef? Doing great. Good man, to see you, likewise, where are we at, man? Tell we us about are, your place. We're at Aranya Taqueria and Cantina. We are authentic interior Mexican food here in New Orleans. We have a beautiful restaurant here, Cantina. Uh, you have margaritas. Well, we have a huge tequila bar. Okay. Uh, we've got about 100 or so tequilas on there. We do agua frescas. All of our drinks are fresh made with fresh fruit every day. Mm. We basically bring the flavors of Mexico, the way they do it in Mexico. All righty. Uh, Tell us what you're going to cook for us here today. Well, today we're going to do a chili relleno picadillo. Our difference is we're going to fry it with a tortilla crust rather than a breading. We're going to start off first by making stuffing. Okay, Chef, I'm coming with vegetables. You ready? Yeah, let's go for it. Coming in. Nice. Oh, yeah. Saute them. Want to get some of the flavor out. Throw in some potatoes. Okay, do a little bit of potatoes. Okay, beautiful. Now, what kind of meat do you have here? Uh, we have uh, ground uh, beef today. Okay, can you use pork if you, you want You can it? use pork beef if you want it. If you want to make it healthy, you can use turkey. So now we got this going. I'll okay. throw in some olives, mm -hmm. some yellow raisins. Okay. Just to get a little sweetness on there. All right. I'll go ahead and take this ground beef. Mm. Throw that guy in there. Okay. Just kind of smash it on yeah. up. And this beef cooks pretty quick, too, once you break it all down. Very quick. Oh, yeah. Actually. Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, one of the one of the secrets of Mexican cooking, we call it abuela secret, okay. grandma secret, is chicken powder. Mm. Uh, you the, know what? I, I see a lot of chicken powder when I go to Latin grocery stores. Yeah, Latin grocery it, stores. It's, it's crazy because I was learning uh, stock, stock, yes. all the way stock. Yeah. You know, this is a shortcut. Mm. Smell all the uh, the onions and the, the spices coming mm -hmm. off. Let's kick, put a little more flavor. Okay. What now is this that? This is our house taco seasoning. You okay. can go ahead and go to the store and grab yourself some regular, you know, hey. taco seasoning. Because you're not going to give us all the ingredients. No, this, no, huh, no, chef? no, no, no. <laughs> Red no, salt no, and volcano salt. salt. <laughs> no. no, there's, uh, there's <laughs> paprika in there. There's a little bit of cumin in there. Okay. Uh, some chili powder. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this uh, chili off of here in a batch. Gotcha, and gotcha. what particular type of chili is this? That is a poblano chili. Poblano chili. chili. I use those a lot, folks at home. And uh, what you use your roasted, you put I it in. I tell you what, I'm going to come right here, right? Go for it. Let folks here see me peel this off. So after you bring it off the flames, you let it cool down a little bit, right, Chuck? Correct. Right. Okay. I'm going to add a little tomato sauce to this okay. to finish. I'm just going to put this a little summer with this finish up. Now you can just smell that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. So here we have it, the poblano. That's going to mm -hmm. be the base of the chili real. Got it. So what's the next step, Chef? We're going to stuff that bad boy. OK. Uh, yeah, you have some stuffing already right here? Got some stuffing already Beautiful. made. Show us the art of making these, Chef. Go uh, ahead and right. stuff that baby. So you're just going to take a little handful, kind of make like a little football out okay. of it, and uh, shove it in that guy like that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just stuff it so you okay. can almost close now, it. All right. Now talk a little bit about the frying process here. Okay, what so do we have? Flour egg wash, and here is a combination of tortilla chips that we put in a food processor mixed with panko crumbs. Man, so, I like that. I've never so, seen that before, Yeah, Chef. it's wow. kind of cool. It's kind of different. It's All right, here so we we'll go. So go ahead, typical three-stage breading. Look at that. That's the flour. OK. Egg wash. Now, do you season the flour or the egg or anything? No, actually, I don't season it. Okay. The reason being, there's so much flavor in this thing already. Oh, yeah, OK. I don't want to overpower any flavors. Right? All right, All right. And then we'll take it. Chef, that's okay. killer, man. I, I like the. Uh, making your own Mexican style like panko prompt with the tortilla. Look at that. And then right here. Okay, beautiful. Uh, then what right. do we do with it now? Drop it in the fries. But that's what I'm talking Here's about, Chef. Get it ready. This is the part. You want to make it so it doesn't spit out back at you. Okay. So you want to keep all the stuff in there. Mm -hmm. So we'll screw it one going one way, one, one going and another. the other direction like okay. this. And from here, we'll go ahead and drop it in the fries. All right. Slowly drop it in. Oh, yeah. Now, how long does it cook for? Uh, you can cook for about a minute or two. Okay. It doesn't take very long. That's perfect. Ooh, look, look how yeah, cold it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's sexy. You just right let there. that rest right there. You got it. I'm going to add sauce, get that now. sauce in there. I'll go ahead and grab the plate. This is going to be a pretty quick process at oh, this yeah. point. Now talk a little bit about your sauce. It's basically it's a salsa verde. Okay. And so it's uh, tomatillas, onions, garlic, a little lime juice in there. Okay. And uh, jalapenos and cilantro. Grab a little bit of that sauce. And we're going to dress the plate right here. Look at this. I want everybody to see that baby. There we go. All right. Perfect. And I'm going to take this chili relleno. Mm -hmm. Take those skewers out. Put that right there. Wow. All That's right. exciting. 
Here we go. Let's go with that. This is Oaxaca cheese. Okay. So this is the Mexican equivalent of uh, mozzarella. You see, you can tell by the edge start to bubble around. Yes. You get a nice, beautiful brown on there. So once it starts to caramelize once on that edge, you just drape it over. Shake it, put it right on My top. Man. I just do this, it's just what we do at the restaurant. So we get that, flop that on top, Ooh, char it on top yeah. of there. Oh yeah, baby. And then we finish it off with a little sour cream on top of that. Now this is this is Mexican version, it's crema. So there's like yeah. citrus in there, a little salt. And then we're gonna finish off with this little pickled red onion. Chef, that is the bomb, baby. There you go. It looks authentic. I love all the great flavors you use. Let's go ahead and get inside of that dish, man. I wanna- You first, sir. Oh yeah, okay, thank you. I'm gonna come right in here. I wanna make sure I get some of that meat. Chef, go ahead and get some. We can talk you about your it. flavors, man. The tortilla chips. That is the killer for me. The creaminess of the crema. Mm -hmm with the sharpness of that Mexican cheese. Also on the back of my palate, I get these pickled red onions here. Yep. Chef, this is amazing, man. My goodness. So, Chef, you gonna cook for us again a little bit yeah, later? Yeah, sure am. Tempura fried shrimp tacos with pickled escabiche. That's what I'm talking about. I'm coming up next, and I'm gonna do a fried burrito. It's a Mexican chimichanga, baby. Chef Chef crafts a champion chimichanga that's overflowing with south of the border flavors. Next. I told you guys we were going south of the border for some of the most amazing flavors. I'm here with Chef Richard's wife. How are you, Jennifer? I'm good. Pleased nice to meet you. Too. We're gonna make a chimichanga classic Mexican fried burrito. I love them. I'm gonna cut this skirt steak here on the bias, just like this. You wanna have mouth-sized pieces, real sharp knife here, right? And if you don't have a sharp knife at home, you can ask your butcher mm -hmm. to slice it, slice right. it up for you. Glass bowl here. I'm gonna take our meat, we're gonna put it right here. In here, I'm gonna crush up a little bit of fresh garlic, roasted okay, garlic, nice. and um, jalapeno peppers. Let's go ahead and smash it up in here. Beautiful, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. Look at that. It smells good. Oh yeah, baby. We got I some like garlic. pepper. Oh yeah. I have a very special salt from a specialty store. It's habanero salt, right? So we're gonna not go with the regular salt this round here. Well, that I got smells some good too. Lime juice here. Little acid. Beautiful. One lime is perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our meat here. We're gonna go ahead and add all of. Once you scoop that up for me, there. There you go. Put your hands down in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and work the meat here. It's best to let this sit it's in the really refrigerator. Pretty. It's pretty, huh? For a little cooling pier. Let it rest. Let all those flavors get in there. Beautiful. Now let's see. We're gonna go ahead and add some canola oil, olive oil blend. You can see that cast iron yes. skillet is super hot. We're about to make some noise here, folks. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead in here. Oh yeah, look at that. All that flavor, garlic, red onions. But we're gonna do a flash cook here. And I have a little pinto beans here. I made a little no, earlier. Staring look at, at that. Those. Yes. Really got garlic <laughs> in here, red onions, jalapenos. Man, we got nothing but flavor up in here. Look at that. Oh yeah. We're gonna take our feet out of here. Oh, oh yeah. Smells awesome. Oh yeah, look at that. We'll save a few pieces for us later. <laughs> How's that? Sounds good. We'll let that meat kind of rest a little bit, okay? Sure. Now we're gonna make some fresh guacamole. So we got avocado, cilantro, red onion. We'll start off by adding a little bit of EVO. So you go ahead and kind of fork, start fork mashing that. Now I'm gonna add fresh cracked black pepper. Oh, I love yeah. the smell of all these mm, together. Mm. Beautiful. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of habanero salt, put a little heat in there, or other half of our lime. Do you like it kind of chunky? Or... I do, I do. Okay. I like it very rustic like that. Perfect. Perfect. Now it's burrito time. I'm gonna put those beans right there in the middle. All right, now we're gonna take our meat, put our meat in here. It already looks so good. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, now, got some queso fresco cheese. Nice. Really good. Now we're gonna roll this burrito up. Take that burrito here. I'm gonna push everything in here. I'm gonna roll that burrito up. Now, I'm gonna run a skewer in here. We're gonna set this burrito right here inside. Here we're gonna drop it in. 
Now we're gonna let it fry okay. so it gets nice and crispy. Let's bring this baby out of here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. Let that <laughs> excess oil come off of there. Perfect. Rustic Jimmy Chunga, <laughs> baby. All the way down here in New Orleans, south of the border. Jennifer, Chef Jennifer, who's in the kitchen with me here today. <laughs> so I'll tell you what we're gonna do now. We're gonna take that, we're gonna make a little bed. Our chimichanga. Now we're gonna rest that chimichanga right there. Nice. Now we're gonna take out our little skewers. Crema. Wow, that looks beautiful. Put that on there. Put a little dabble guacamole right there. And there we have it. Yeah, baby, a chimichanga fried burrito with carne asada. <laughs> we got fresh guacamole. Pinto beans, salsa fresca. You ready to taste? I'm ready. Look at that. I'm gonna open this baby up for you. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It's like nachos rolled up <laughs> and deep fried. Awesome. Here's a fork. Go ahead and taste. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. -hmm. Oh that my god. Oh. So good. It really is. I get the garlic. The poblano chili, the charred red. It all together. Oh, perfect. yeah. Perfect. Easy to make at home. You make mm -hmm. your mix. It could be pork. It could be carnitas. It could be carnitas. It could be turkey, chicken. Oh, yes. Pick your vegetables together. Anything. Roll it up. Put a couple toothpicks in there. Deep fry it. We got a great fried chimichanga. Yes. Coming up next, Chef Richard is back on the stove, and he got something super special. South Dakota border, baby. Chef Richard and Chef Jeff haul in big flavor with a fun and easy twist on shrimp tacos. We're back in the kitchen right here with Chef Richard. It's all about the flavors of Mexico. Chef, what are you making for us now? Well, we're gonna do tempura fried tacos with pickle escabeche and chipotle mayonnaise. Wow. A lot of flavor. All right, put me to work. Talk about what we got going on here. Okay. Talk about the flavors you're gonna use and the whole process. Well, we're gonna make pickle escabeche, and basically what it is, it's several different vegetables. You know, we put a little bit of uh, cumin, coriander in a pot. Okay. Uh, generally, we'll get this nice and hot and boiling. Okay. Uh, add some salt to it. Okay. And uh, it's a little bit of process. You use this overnight. Mm -hmm. uh, you take your jalapenos. That many jalapenos, Chef? Oh, yeah. And all right, all right, here we go. We put some uh, white onions in that guy. All right. Put some carrots. Mm -hmm. We take these Julian mandolin. Uh, okay. And then one of the secret ingredients, not really the secret, is okay. uh, chayote, or merloton as I call it, New Orleans. We've got that pickling. Now, in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get your sauce ready. Okay. And your sauce is very simple. It's an easy three-second sauce. Okay. So this is basically going to be a quick little sauce. We're going to toss the shrimp in after it comes okay. out. So you take mayonnaise, a half a cup of pureed chipotle peppers. Okay. You get them in the store in a can, just puree in a blender. Okay. Pop that up on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to take a little bit of lime juice. Okay. Just give it a little acid. Mm -hmm. And a little pinch of salt. And you're just going to go ahead and mix it up. Real simple, quick, wow. and easy. And then when you're done with that, put it into a uh, squeeze bottle, like so. Wow. And what? that's a. Uh... Go ahead and give me a little bit right there, yeah, Chef. Let me taste that, man. Oh, man. There we go. There you go. Just a slight. Oh, yeah, I yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. Got a nice little spicy, nice little kick. What a great addition how to flip some basic mayonnaise. Quick you can easy take sauce. Wow, that's good, Chef. All, All right. right, so I'm going to set this to the side Not here. Not a problem. That looks good. And uh, let's go ahead and do it to your batter. Real okay. simple. So, what do you have here? Two cups of rice flour to one cup of cornstarch mm -hmm. and a little bit of our house taco seasoning. So, how does rice flour impact the texture of the shrimp versus all purpose flour? It uh, gives it a little bit of a crispiness. It also holds up when you toss it in the mayonnaise. It won't mm. get all soggy. And, and Almost in like Asian cooking a little bit. Exactly. They use a, mm. you know, there's a lot of Asian influence in Mexican cooking. Wow, oh, okay, that's interesting. So, cool. But you could do it with flour. You can do it with regular flour. Not okay. a problem with that. So you get that. You want to get some cold, bubbly okay. salsa water. Go ahead and stir that yeah. in for me. Just get it all incorporated oh, in. Oh, yeah, look at that. And it's one of those things that every time you use, you want to give it a good little stir so okay. it doesn't uh, sink to the bottom. Mm. One thing rice flour does, it does sink to Kinda the bottom. Kind of drops down first. Drops down. All right, how's that? Looking perfect. All right, so we got that going. Okay. Now, now I've already got some already set aside okay. made for us. Wow. 
Chef taking us to school today, baby. <laughs> He's giving up the secrets, man. All and it's secrets. all about the technique to get the great flavor, right? All right. Okay. We're going to go ahead and fry up some shrimp Okay, now. talk about the shrimp, Chef. These shrimp right here come from, like, South Africa, Canada? No, we use Louisiana shrimp. I know you we, do, we baby. I'm just South, testing man. you, man. I'm Louisiana testing shrimp. You got I'm some plus local you. farmers. There you go. There you go. All right, all right. And uh, we'll go ahead and give this a little swirl like so. Okay. And real simple with the shrimp, you want to get down deep in there. Ooh. Get it all up there. And slowly, just drop them in one by one. So it's, it's the best way is one by one. One by one. OK. Because you don't want them to uh, clump up, touch each other. Mm -hmm. Plus, with this, with this batter, it's, it's very light. It's very light batter. It's not okay. a heavy, heavy, bready gotcha. batter, which is nice. The cook time isn't that long on. No, this is actually a really quick dish to do. So if you don't have a whole lot to do and you're in busy nights, okay. you know, go quick. It's a, it's a quick win. Get a pot, put some oil in there. You got a fry daddy, whatever you've got. Okay. You can do that. All right. Mm -hmm. Just give them a couple seconds. All right. Just give them a little pop so they don't stick. Yeah. You're gonna see them right now. Oh yeah, baby. Light, 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 light batter. So when you kind of shake the basket a little bit in case they stick together, loosen exactly, them up. Exactly, exactly. And for folks at home who may not have the fancy deep fryer here, you can do them in a pot, regular pot, get cast a iron pot. or something. Yeah, go up cast iron pot, get it about 350 degrees. Okay. And you're good to go. All righty. So while that's fried, we'll go ahead and get ready for the uh, okay. sauce. All right. So real simple. We just take a little bit of mayonnaise. Okay. Oh. So you're going to toss the shrimp that's in there. There you go. Chef, how do you stay in good shape, man? I own a restaurant. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> eat his coffee. He doesn't eat his coffee. I don't profit. have time to eat. I'm telling you. All right. So we'll let that shake that off for a second. Okay. And then we just do this. Get the fork. Put an extra one in there. I want to eat one of them shrimp. Chef Richard is the man. Next, a grilled cocktail flip tip. And then Chef Richard brings the tempura tacos together for tasting. It's time for today's flip tip. We have a grilled pineapple and spicy jalapeno margarita. Amon here is the mix master. Thank you very much. It's a nice twist on a classical margarita. Combining sweet, spicy flavors. We're putting a little bit of chopped jalapeno in this cocktail. Some um, pineapple with- Smoky uh, char, huh? Smoky char yeah, to man. it. Um, agave nectar, a little agave to give it a little bit more sweetness and muddle this all down mm. together. So when you muddle, what, mm -hmm. what, what is that process for? You're just really opening up the flavors, blending, emulsifying everything together. Gotcha. Okay. Essentially. It's all nice and blended. Okay. Uh, next, I'm using my tequila. And you guys have a lot of tequilas here. Absolutely. Like over 100 of them, we right? We have over 100 tequilas in the restaurant. You're right. All right, yeah, OK. Yeah. Lastly, I'm going to put a little bit of limonada. Now, if you wanted to make this a little bit healthier, you could just use straight lime juice for, you know, those people that want a little less sugar in their life. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little sweetness, okay. man. I'm telling you, I like it. Like that. All right. Mmm. A little salt to the rim. There you go. And there you have it. I get a little sip sip on that? Absolutely. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Amazing flavor, smokiness, yes. charness, get the sweetness, Absolutely. and the great tequila. That's today's flip tip. Now back to flip my food. Woo. We're back in the kitchen right here with Chef Richard. It's all about the flavors of Mexico. So we got some beautiful tortillas right mm -hmm. here. Okay. Make a few of these bad boys. Mm -hmm. I love corn tortillas. I'm, I'm like old school. Me too, baby. I'm, I'm, like I'm old tortillas. school. So I'm going to take about three of these bad boys or so for each of them and just toss in the mayonnaise. Put that there. This is where we add some little kick, a little, little sweetness, a little sour. Mm -hmm. You know, I like the pickle veg. So we do a little bit of this with that. Garnish these guys with a Very little, simple, Chef. Very and simple. Very and very flavorful. A lot of the process to that is amazing. And then we just take them. Yeah. My man. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, man. Chef, brother, that is amazing. You ready for one? Yeah. Let's grab one out of there and let's go to school on a man. Ooh, mm. yeah. Hands down, the shrimp is a star. The full stars is a sauce and your vegetable. They all play well together. It's all about balance. Let me tell you, I Thank love you. the crispiness. And when you put your flavors in your mayonnaise, it still keeps the, the shrimp is still crispy. Yep. Wow. Great buy, great margaritas, and tequilas up the yang yang. As I always say, chef, all around America. It's all about flavor and love in the kitchen. We'll see you next time on Flip My Food.
If you like today's food, log on to flipmyfood.com and download the recipe. And if you have a favorite recipe you would like me to flip, send it to me and you can win a chance to be on my show, Cooking with Chef Jeff. Until next time, 